Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So we have got our regular monthly video. I've got a really weird face going on and some bolder than usual brows and I don't know how I feel about them. But I digress. Today we've got our April boxy charm. And go figure. <laughs> Prefacing this with I got the variation that I didn't want. Not like the one I really didn't want but it definitely wasn't the one I wanted. But we're gonna go ahead and get into that. So instead of a card this month, we have got a whole brochure with everything I received right here in all our price points. And this month was eye candy. So we are just gonna start at the beginning with the stuff that I'm not using because I'm not. <laughs> So we have got, the first thing we have is this Dr. Brandt Pours No More Vacuum Cleaner. This retails for $47. So I have not used this yet, but what I do know is we've gotten two Dr. Brandt items that I've personally gotten. The primer, I was not a fan, but the skincare, I absolutely love. I still use it a couple times a week um, just to exfoliate. Definitely going to be trying this out maybe tonight after I take my makeup off because Dr. Brandt skincare is super good, super luxe, super expensive. I can't afford to buy it myself, so it's good that I'm getting it because I couldn't otherwise buy it. However, if I fall in love with it, <laughs> I can't afford to rebuy it. So, you know, double-edged sword, good and bad, but definitely excited to try that out because God knows I need a good mask to get these pores under control. <laughs> so next, we have got another product that I would use, but it is completely the wrong color, and I don't understand how they did this. We have got a Brow Gal Instatent Brow Gel with microfibers in it, and for whatever reason, they decided to send me the color light, which is not my color, so I could probably use it, but what I'm going to do, my mom gets BoxyCharm too, and she's got like way lighter hair than me, so we're just waiting it out to see. I'm going to leave this in the package, and if she gets the dark one, we're going to trade. So, um, if she gets the dark one and we trade, I'll show y'all how I feel about it later on. But as we also know, with microbladed brows, brow products aren't as impressive for me. All I really need is a good brow pencil to fill it in and, you know, I'm fine. But we've got that and it looks like it's definitely a good product. It retails for $22. So, definitely a good thing to get, just not a thing I can use. That's okay. So, the first thing I'm actually going to use on camera is this Tarte Teeste Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. I got mine in the shade Stunner, which I think may be the lightest shade. I have cheated. I did swatch it, and it didn't look way too dark for me. I was a little afraid with me being so fair it would be. But what I'm going to do is take some on the back of my hand here. Um, I did swatch it out and it's not just super impressive. Um, I'll show y'all. I'm going to pick some up on a beauty blender and just tap it in to here and try to kind of blend it out the best I can. Definitely got way too much. Um, this is the easiest way I have seen to apply liquid highlighters without making a huge mess. Uh, this definitely has a lot of glitter in it. Um, when I blend it way out and I don't put very much I don't get much color payoff at all, so you do have to put a lot. That's why I did some extra, because I blended out just a teeny dot on my hand, and it was like, I didn't put anything there. So you're definitely going to have to use some product to get a desired effect. 
but that's all right. <clears throat> and this retails for $29. Uh, definitely, I mean, I probably wouldn't pay $29 for it, but that's me. I'm just going to put a little bit more since I still have more on my hand and see if we can blend it out just a little bit better. Maybe blend it up some. Okay. So once we packed that on and really blended it in, it's definitely pretty. Like I said, I wouldn't pay the retail price for this, but it's nice and it's definitely good to get in the box. A lot of people don't try liquid highlights. Personally, the only one I've ever tried came out of Boxy. However, I'm about to try out a whole bunch more because Crate Finds is coming out with some and I'm about to try the crap out of those liquid highlighters and see how I feel. But you know, another day, another video. So the big item in here is actually the cheapest item in here. I got the My Little Pony palette from ColourPop. And I'm not going to say that I'm disappointed, but I'm disappointed. Okay, so this retails for $16. Uh, Colourpop is a good brand, super affordable. I don't mind that. That's not the problem. Uh, they had five different variations. Here's the inside of this one. And I was just really hoping I would get the Golden State of Mind, which is gorgeous. It's a beautiful glitter palette. Or the You Had Me at Hello palette, which is a beautiful warm tone, you know, pinks, reds. Gorgeous. I just wanted those. Which, you know... You always get a different variation and that's okay. And just like with my brow thing, me and my mom's gonna trade <laughs> if she gets the glitter palette. If she gets the You Had Me at Hello, I'm on my own because she really likes that one too. But if she gets the all glitter palette, we're gonna trade because she doesn't really use glitters. But I'm still gonna go ahead and film a quick tutorial with this for you guys because she knows I gotta get this video up and she doesn't mind reusing a palette after me. So we're gonna do a quick look so basically i'm just gonna dip into here get you a quick eye look hopefully something cute i hope cute because uh i think i got a date after this i don't know anyways <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and dip into this color right here this is flutterby i like that name that's what i used to call butterflies when i was a kid actually and i think it was probably because of my little pony but we're gonna put this all in the crease. Okay, so that went on pretty good. That's actually like the perfect peachy transition shade. I'm a little bit shook. Uh, then we are gonna go into this color right here, which is called Applejack. And yes, you guys, I know my nails are back to ratchet. At least they're clean. <laughs> I popped a nail off this morning on my way to work. And I didn't have plans to get them redone until like the end of the week when I go on vacation. And so now I have no nails. And y'all are just going to have to deal with that for a few videos. We're going to bounce back and forth. Um, I pre-recorded a couple that are going to go up later this week. This one is actually going to go up Tuesday, which is tomorrow. So, yeah, we're just going to be bouncing around videos. I don't even know what we're doing these days. But, yeah, I have no nails. They look ratchet. I'm sorry. I was going to paint them, but I got things to do, and I needed to film this, edit it, get it in there, and ready to go for in the morning. So that's just what happened. Okay, now we are going to go into... Oh, that's really weird. This one right here, which is called Minty, which seems weird because it's not minty, but okay. We're going to go ahead and put that in the crease as well. Uh, 
Okay, and to add a little bit of depth because this look is still so light, I'm gonna take this color right here, which is Twilight, and I am gonna take it on a smaller brush and put it in the outer corner and hopefully not go crazy. Okay, and then for my lid, ooh, I just dropped the whole world. Okay, for my lid, I want to take this sparkly purple right here. This is called Sky Dancer, and I'm just going to take it on my finger and lay it down. Okay, and um, for my lower lash line, I want some color. I've really been on that kind of kick lately. So I'm gonna take this color right here called Princess Sparkle and just line that real close in my lower lash line. Now we got to make <laughs> that inner corner and that brow bone pop just a little bit. So we are going to take this one right here. It's a nice white metallic and it's called Snuzzle. A little weird. And we're going to put it on this little brush and just stick it in the inner corners and the brow bone. Okay guys, so that is it for this look. It's cute, but we have one more item in the box. This retails for $24. Um, let me go ahead and take it out so you can see it. I, I did cheat and I have taken this out already too. This is the Adess High Def Liquid Lipstick. It's in the color. Nobody knows because it is not on here. And I think I remember reading that like nobody can find the shade name. It's pretty though. So we're going to go ahead and put this on and see how it looks. Looks like it's just a brownish nude. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say this. This is a super pretty color, okay? This applicator is the worst thing I've ever used in my life. Point blank, period. $24. If I knew it had this applicator, there's no way. It's really sticky. I mean, it's got to dry down, but... Mmm... Yeah, I'm not loving this formula. I'm not loving the applicator. I love the color. This is really pretty. However, I think if my sister didn't get this, I may give it to her because she's not real picky on her formulas and stuff because I think this would look prettier on her. And maybe she could deal with it being a little bit sticky, but it does not feel like it's going to dry down. And from what I have seen in my beauty groups, nobody's a big fan of this because the formula is just it's supposed to be a liquid lipstick. I mean, it doesn't say that it's matte, but that's just kind of what you assume. There's no way it's matte. So, yeah, I don't think this is going to be my thing. That's okay. Every box can't be perfect. So just for a running total, you've got the $29 highlighter, the $18 palette, the $47 skincare, $22 brow gel, and $24 lipstick for a grand total of $140 in this box, which is, as always, an amazing value like 
$21 for that much stuff whether you really think it's worth that much or not that's still amazing because you know at the end of the day that's how much these things cost I mean they work their butts off to get this much stuff in this box I'm sure it is really hard to get products in here subscription boxes are so much harder than people realize um, to create and to get going and to actually make a profit off of so I mean that is an amazing amazing value um, I mean I definitely like the palette uh, the highlighter actually performed pretty good once I did the beauty blender trick. It's not blended the best, but that could be my fault. The lipstick's a gorgeous color, just not my kind of formula or applicator. Um, the brow gel, I'll let y'all know um, if I get to trade my mom for like a darker one. If she doesn't get a darker one, I may go ahead and try the lighter one, but I'd rather gift it to somebody that can actually use it and it's gonna actually benefit them because it's not really gonna work for me. Um, and I always love Dr. Brandt skincare, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say that's probably the bomb. No promises, but it usually is. Um, but yeah, I mean, that is it for this box. Definitely my favorite thing by far is going to be the skincare in the palette. Even though it wasn't the palette I wanted, it performed super well. ColourPop's amazing. They're super affordable. And for the price, you can't really beat that quality unless you get crepe vines. Another video another day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you got and um you know if you were happy with your box or not and let me know if you tried any of these products how you feel about them yeah pretty much so uh that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in a couple of days bye you guys